Hi, it's Lori from LoriStory.com. Thanks for joining me for another Cricut tutorial. Today I wanted to show you how to use digital papers that you purchase online and the pattern fill feature in Design Space to work together to add patterns to your designs. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is go to Upload Images. On the screen you see you have two options, Image or Pattern Fill. We are going to use the Pattern Fill, so we're going to click on Upload Pattern. Next, we're going to click Browse and navigate to where the digital files are. I have mine right here. This is called PSI Love You Pattern Papers. This is by Oak Tree Designs. If you haven't checked them out, you need to do that. Uh, these are super cute. But let's just grab this one right here and we'll hit Open. Okay, you'll see a preview of your pattern paper. You'll see the name of it. You can rename it if you want. And here you can click on some themes that will help you find it later. So let's put, um, this could be a wedding paper. This could be, uh, let's see what else. Celebration maybe, love, miscellaneous. And then under styles, you can click whichever ones you want to click. Um, I'm gonna put geometric. It's not a polka dot, that's fine. And then click on the colors that are in the image. And this again, just helps you look for a pattern later. And then you click save. Okay, you're not going to see anything on this screen and that's fine, just hit cancel. And now, once you go into, let's just put a shape in here, and we'll just put a square. And we'll just pretend that this is a uh, square is going to be a, maybe our card base. So now we can go over to the layers panel and click on it, and we would change it to print. And then we get the option here of patterns. So we click patterns. And now we can use the filters we can click filter and remember how we checked the colors. We could pick red here. We could click my patterns or uploaded. Let's click uploaded. We know that we uploaded this pattern so that'll make it easier to find. And here we have the uploaded patterns and I believe this is it. If we click on the information, this is what it was named, PSPP8. So we can click on that and then you can see it fills your shape. You can use any shape for this. Um, let's try a circle. Again, while the object is selected, we're going to click on it in the layers panel. We're going to change it to print. We're going to go to patterns and there's our pattern. Now the other thing that you can do is edit this pattern. Say you wanted these hearts to be a little bit bigger. So you can go to edit and you can change the scale to fit. And you can change the scale to fit your desired look. You can also change the direction of the paper. You can move it up or down and you can rotate it. So that's kind of fun to play with. Let's go to um, insert images. Let's type in tag. Okay, so we'll just grab a tag here. This is one of the free images. And again, we can take this image. It's grouped together right now, so we need to just focus on one part of the tag. So let's right click, ungroup. Now we have two separate pieces. Let's grab the top part of this tag, which is the green, and let's go over to our layers panel, click on it, change it to print, click patterns, and here we go. We can change just the top part of that pattern. So you can use the pattern fill for all sorts of shapes. They're, the possibilities are just endless. Let's add another one just to review. Let's go upload images, pattern fill, 
browse. We're going to navigate to where our digital papers are. Um, let's use this one. This one's really cute. Open. And again, we can name it. Um, I think I'm going to add penguin. And let's see, animals, wildlife, nature. This is kind of a fun. This is also love. It has hearts in it. And it's sort of a geometric. And it has blue in it. It has red in it. It has white in it. And I think that's good. Let's hit save. And again, we're not going to see anything on the screen, so we just hit cancel. And now let's focus on that bottom part of the tag. Let's go over to the tag, click on it in the layers panel, change it to print, click patterns. And again, let's choose, let's choose red and uploaded. And let's find our new pattern that we just uploaded. And there it is. So we can click on edit and we can change the scale. Now we have a really cute tag. Also in the layers panel, I just wanted to show you there are several patterns already there for you to use. Uh, let's clear all the filters. There are tons of, some of them are free, some of them are for purchase. I know Photoplay Papers just recently added some papers to the images. Um, some are part of the subscription. There's AirPlay. I mean, there's all just all kinds of things. And again, you can just click on filters. And if you want to see all the patterns or you just want to see what's in the subscription, let's just click on subscription. And all these are part of the subscription. So there's lots of options out there. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and have fun playing with the patterns. Bye.